Hello, it's Auntie Oni. How are all my little friends in Tobago? I want to thank Tobago Library Services for asking me to come and tell you some more stories virtually. Well, I love Tobago and I love seeing all the little bookies that come to the library, the children from Wim Primary. I miss you all. Oh, and all the children at Miss Marcy's Prep School in Black Rock. I miss you too. I'm so glad to be here. And I'm going to share you a story called Three Fish in a Pond. Three Fish in a Pond is a story about planning ahead. Now, I'm doing these days of COVID, where we have to wear masks. Some children are being homeschooled, and some children are wearing masks but attending school. Now, whether you're homeschooled, whether you're in a nice, safe school, wearing your mask, we must always plan ahead. We have to plan ahead so we'll be ready to have our homework. And that way, when all your homework is done because you planned ahead, you'll have time to play your video games, you'll have time to go out and play football, you'll have time to talk on the phone, but you must plan ahead. So this story is called Three Fish in a Pond. Once there was three fish in a pond. The first fish was named Plan Ahead. The second fish was named Think Fast. And the third fish was Way and See. Well, it was a bright sunny day and they were enjoying swimming in the pond. It was crystal clear and they were having a great time. Till suddenly it got dark. They looked up and it was dark because two fishermen were standing over the pond and their shadow was blocking out the sun. Well, for the three fish, they listened and they heard the two fishermen talking to each other. Oh, yes. You see that fish down there? Hmm. I think we should come back tomorrow and cast our net and catch us some fish. Well, I think that's a good idea. I'll meet you here tomorrow morning. All right? Well, when they walked away, the sun shined back on the three fish. Plan ahead. She looked at Think Fast and Wait and See. I don't know about you guys, but I'm swimming down river tonight. And so she did. Think Fast. He turned to Wait and See and he just said, you know what, Wait and See? They might not even come back tomorrow. And if they do, I'm sure I'll think of something really fast. Wait and see. He looked at Think Fast. Well, Think Fast, you got a point. I think I'm just going to wait and see. Because they might not even come back, just like you see. So the next morning, the two fishermen came to the pond. They cast their net out into the pond. And when they pulled their net out of the pond, they pulled and they pulled, think fast and wait and see what's in the net. Think fast, think fast, shut his eyes, froze up, got real stiff. He was pretending he was dead. The fisherman looked to think fast, picked up think fast. Hmm, this fish is dead. He's no good. And he threw him back out into the pond. Think fast, <clears throat> gulped up some water. <clears throat> oh, and he swam away to freedom. Wait and see. Wait and see ended 
up at Scarborough Fish Market. That night, Wait and See was on the dinner menu at Miss Carol's house. Now, in times of danger, when the net is cast, children, you better plan ahead or plan to think fast. So when you plan ahead, you get things done. And in the end, that's when you can have all your fun. So until next time, I will see you later, sweet potato. After a while, honey child, it's Auntie Oni sending my love to you every single day.